to my beautiful wife, Charlotte Lowndes. I can remember the day that we met like it was yesterday. I'll never forget the feeling I had when I saw you for the first time. And seeing you walk down the aisle today took me back to that moment 14 years ago. There's only one thing for me to tell you. How much you moved me and how much you've changed me. You've made me into a man by loving me and for that I'm eternally grateful. I fear that no words I say will ever do justice to unbelievable person that you truly are. You're so beautiful, talented, smart, and I'm proud to call you my wife. The girl that I met when I was 16, and the woman that I promised to love for the rest of my life. I can't believe my little girl is married. It doesn't seem five minutes since I was rushing back to the hospital, arriving just in time to see her born. She has grown into a strong and confident young woman. We are both very proud. Today I pledge to spend the rest of my life with you. I will be faithful and honest. I will always be there when you need me most. We'll respect and support you as we go through life together. All that I have, I give to you. All that I have, I give to you. All that I am, I share with you. All that I am, I share with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. For today, for tomorrow. For today, for tomorrow. And for all the years to come. And for all the years to come. Please wear it as a sign of my love. Please wear it as a sign of my love. And as notice to the world. And as notice to the world. That you have chosen me. That you have chosen me. To be your wife. To be your wife. And place the ring fully on his feet. Therefore, gives me the greatest pleasure to announce you as husband and wife. Yeah. You may kiss your bride. It makes me the happiest man alive to be able to stand here and say, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, on behalf of me and my wife, we welcome you all to our wedding and thank you all sincerely for sharing this day with us. Our relationship happened in the most ordinary, unexpected way. I wasn't some knight looking for a princess. Instead, I was a geeky, spotty, 16-year-old with a football in his hand. One day, we bumped into each other and now we're here as husband and wife. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jordan, Dan's brother. It's such a surprise to see that Dan has so many friends, but then I realised Pete said it's a free bar <laughs> <laughs> and the drinks are on him. So even with his flaws, I still couldn't ask for a better brother. I've always looked up to Dan and I've always been proud of him. Dan took his big brother role very seriously when I was growing up. He would punch me in my face <laughs> and say he was doing me a favour. He was so determined to do what was expected of him. He was a real cant, oh, oh, he was a... <laughs> He was always canting on me. My apologies if you had misheard that. So anyway, I've known Charlotte for over two years now and when I saw her and Dan, I knew something was wrong. And then after thinking about it, I knew that 
he was punching way above his weight. I've always cast Charlotte's family and now today it's official that you're my sister-in-law and I couldn't be any happy, happier to have you and Dan as part of my life. First of all, I want to say thank you Pete, Eddie and Jordan for your kind words and good wishes. I know that this is something that you weren't looking forward to, the speech that is, not losing your older, cooler, more attractive brother. Many people forget that you're only 18 and trust me, including myself, most men would shudder at doing that, but you've made me so proud in the build up to this and I can't thank you enough for everything that you've done. After seeing me for the first time in the English corridor, Charlotte managed to track me down, and you probably call it stalking these days, merely asking me how I was and what I was up to. At this point, I sat there in reflection, asking myself, why is the most attractive, or as I'd be thinking in those days, the fittest girl in school, asking me how I am. I had a kiss up the corner at somebody's house, she takes after her mum. <laughs> Thought I was in there. But no, two weeks later, I was dumped. Heartbroken, I told myself that I was never gonna to speak to her again. The years went by, 11 to be precise, still holding a grudge. We bumped into each other in a bar, and I saw Charlotte walking over to me. We sat there for the majority of the night, talking about what we'd been up to, like we'd never been apart. We met up a few times, but it just wasn't meant to be, and we agreed to leave it there. Deep down, I knew I'd made a huge mistake. Six months later, on Christmas Day, I finally admitted defeat. And over Christmas dinner, I told my mum I'd made a huge mistake and wanted to get Charlotte back. So I stalked her at the gym, find out what classes she was doing, subtly position myself on the weights, as you can tell, so that she'd have to walk past me. That night at the gym was the turning point and the moment I got the girl that I loved since I was 16. 